Being an American means believing absolutely anything you want to believe. We've now taken that to such an extreme that a lot of us are unhinged from reality. A third of Americans believe that global warming is a hoax. A quarter of Americans believe that vaccines cause autism. A third of Americans believe that humans have always been the same, unchanged and unevolved, and that the government today is hiding natural cures for cancer. So how did we get here? It was a long journey by a multitude of paths, but in just the last half century, two things happened. One was the profound shift in thinking that came out of the 1960s. The other was the beginning of the new internet age. In the 60s, we had all kinds of new spiritual practices, new approaches to psychology, new belief in shamanistic cures, everything that became the new age. The 1960s on many fronts gave us permission to find our own truth and create our own realities. A generation later in the 80s and 90s, communications and media changed dramatically. First, the Fairness Doctrine, the federal rule that made sure that all radio and television presented both sides of any story, was abolished, enabling first Rush Limbaugh and then all kinds of talk radio which presented preposterous opinion as if it were fact. And then of course the World Wide Web and the internet came along enabling every description of fantasist or crackpot to create his or her own version of reality that looked perfectly real. Before the 80s and 90s, before the 60s, America had a long tradition of grifters and the grifted. But all of those strands, including these two recent changes since the 1960s and the digital revolution resulted, it seems inevitably, in President Donald Trump. 